The power of Jason Fox compels you. The power of Jason Fox compels you. The power of Jason Fox compels you. Hello and welcome back everyone to Amra Azul TV. All right, short video this week. Uh, first, reef exorcism. So if you know that uh, I have this one spot in my aquascape where like everything dies, the black hole of Acropora death, and I did lose two more Acropora frags to this one spot. So I'm kind of really fed up. Uh, just to recap, here is kind of all the colonies that I've put in that died and the value, <laughs> the value of the corals that uh, were claimed by the black hole of death. So first there was an Acropora Achilles, not big deal. Then my uh, beautiful red dragon, uh, right in the spot, uh, at the end overnight. That was about, I think, a year and a half ago. And then the orange passion that was underneath the red uh, dragon, beautiful, beautiful colony. Like, uh, I mean, we could put a price on it, but to me it was priceless. It also RT end over a period of a couple of days, about a year and a half ago. So, um, you know, something is up. And then, you guys never got to see this, but I did buy like a really expensive Walt Disney frag when I did my re-aquascape. Uh, beautiful, beautiful frag. Again, same spot, RT end within a couple of weeks. What you did see was the refraft uh, pink matrix. Again, bit of an expensive frag. I put it in, this one I think lasted the longest, but then it also died. So I replaced it with an ice fire in Shinada. <laughs> you know what happened to the ice fire in Shinada. It died. Then I got an Aqua Delight, and the Aqua Delight actually like did an RTN, but it still died. Somehow something knocked it off the Aquascape and it just disappeared. Then, stupid me, I went and I bought a Vivid Confetti uh, on a Confetti. And that also RT end overnight. So, you know, enough is enough. I, I felt that an exorcism was in order. Uh, I searched YouTube on how to exercise <laughs> your reef, but th there, nothing came up. So I kind of fashioned a cross from a bunch of uh, Acropora, dead Acropora skeletons, and I invoked the good name of Jason Fox. So <laughs> we'll, we'll see how that works. Uh, the second thing I want to tell you about is uh, an awesome fix for the Trident reagent uh, problem. So uh, this is uh, thanks to Brazilo 561 on Reef to Reef. Uh, briefly, if you have a Trident that you know that, that there's a little like straw inside the reagent bottle that sucks the reagent, and the straw often sits on an angle which allows air to enter and, and when the reagents get a little bit low, and it kind of just makes really, really uh, wacky values. So uh, Brazilo, uh, or Braziliero, uh, sorry, if, uh, sorry bro <laughs> if I'm mispronouncing your name, he came up with this really awesome uh, idea. Essentially it's this like cone that you feed the reagent straw through and that always keeps it perpendicular to the cap and it ensures that it's always submerged up to kind of uh, the last drop. So this in theory should prevent any air from getting sucked up by the reagent dosers. So uh, thanks again, Brasileiro. And if you're interested in this, uh, do look him up on Reef to Reef. Again, a very simple and ingenious solution. You almost kind of uh, wonder why <laughs> the Apex people didn't uh, come up with this. All right, uh, the last thing I wanna quickly talk about is, uh, you know, I, I have a, a really nice Avast porthole that I uh, like to take, uh, um, uh, put a D DSLR through and, and shoot photos of my corals. Uh, unfortunately, whenever I try to use it to do videos, uh, the iPhone kind of is too high. There's a lot of space where uh, light could go in the porthole and, and come back, reflect back to the camera. So I actually spent like a good 15-20 uh, minutes playing around with the Tinkercad and I came up with this, I think, very simple design. It's, it's a collar that goes on top of the porthole. It's got a, a hole that allows the, where like the iPhone camera could uh, shoot through and it effectively blocks any other light from entering the camera. So uh, I just did this, uh, this was a, a very quickly done uh, and uh, it, it, uh, the measurements uh, were, pretty, were pretty good uh, from the first print 
and then I just did a very quick video uh, and I'm showing you the video shooting through this collar and it effectively cut down on any uh, reflections on the lens so I think this is going to be a game changer for me I mean the, the footage I mean the the lens what I didn't clean it and uh, I was shooting with a filter which I don't typically do I was just too lazy to change the lights uh, but you can see there's no reflection here and I, I think once I'm able to kind of edit this uh, edit the footage and, and carefully set up the so uh, shots a little bit i'm going to be able to uh, give you better uh, way better top-down tours than uh, the ones we uh, you've seen previously so stuff to look forward to uh, if you're interested in, in printing uh, uh, something like this for your avast uh, porthole uh, do let me know i'm really happy with uh, sharing the design it was uh, very easy uh, to print and i think you could probably customize the the hole for different types of uh, phones. So I, I only have the iPhone, so I can only get the measurements for the iPhone, but it, it would be a really easy fix. Uh, so uh, do hit me up if you're interested in this. I'm ha very happy to share the design. And that's it, a very short video for this week, and I'll see you next week for uh, the monthly update on my Red Series for 250. All right, all the best, stay safe, and see you later.